Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Ryan, but you can call me Yoli, and today what I have for you guys is some insane advanced warfare gameplay. What you guys are watching today is a 103 gun streak on the map comeback using the ASM one, and this gameplay was done by Volt Hardscope. You guys have probably never heard of him before because he's a brand new recruit to Volt, but he is an amazing player. He has tons of insane gameplays over on his channel. So if you wish to check out his channel, his link will be down in the description below. You've also probably never heard of me before because this is my first commentary on Volt. I was actually picked up in the recruitment as well. And speaking of the recruitment, we're actually still looking for some more pub stompers and commentators. So if you think you have what it takes to join Volt, then send us a message on Twitter or whatever you can do to get a hold of us to let us know that you're interested because like I said, we're still looking for some more pub stompers and commentators. So since this is my first commentary on Volt, I thought I'd do a little bit of an introduction to kind of let you guys know who I am because I plan on doing a lot of commentaries onto this channel. So let's get started. First off, like I said in the beginning of the video, my name is Ryan. I go by Yoli on YouTube. You can call me either of those. I don't really care. Uh, I'm a 16 year old student from Ontario, Canada. I live near Toronto and I'm big into like video games obviously. I better like video games because after all I am a video game commentator and I'm also into sports as well. You know I like football basketball. I'm not really a big hockey fan, which is surprising because everybody believes that all Canadians like hockey, but that's not true. There's your fun fact of the day. That's really all it about me. I don't really have too much else to say because I don't really find my life to be too interesting. I mean, I'm just a regular kid. I go to school, I come home, I make Call of Duty videos like anybody else does. And, um, and that's about it. But if you have any questions, I mean, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. I'll be looking through all the comments and uh, that'd be greatly appreciated. So I still have a little bit of time left in this video to talk, so today I'm going to be talking about facing your fears, and this is just a little bit of advice that I have for you guys, and that's really um, what I'm going to be talking about on this channel. I mean, I'm going to be giving you guys advice, I'm going to be talking about certain topics that I'm interested in, but I'm not really one to tell life stories, because like I said, I don't really find my life to be too interesting, I'm just very average. I just go to school, I come home, get my work done, and that's about it. So pretty much this is the extent of what I'm going to be posting on this channel. If you want to see, you know, anything else, then you can check out my channel. That link will be down in the description below. So like I said, today I'm going to be talking about facing your fears. And an example I have is about facing your fear of heights. And I'm using this example because I know a lot of people are afraid of heights. Uh, it's just a common fear that people have because it's not really ideal to be thousands of feet in the air. But I mean, sometimes you have to if you want to go quickly to a place like uh, Cuba or the Dominican or something like that. But anyways, a couple years ago my friend asked me if I wanted to go to Canada's Wonderland with him. And I've actually never been there before when he asked me. And that's kind of ridiculous because I live so close to it and uh, I've never been there because I was kind of afraid of heights. But anyways, he asked me if I wanted to go with him and I'm the kind of guy who doesn't really like to say no. So I said, yeah, sure, I'll go. And I didn't really think about it too much. And um, I just really didn't think anything of it. So when we got there, I was kind of hesitant to go on the bigger coasters, like the Leviathan and the Behemoth. If you guys don't know, I'm pretty sure the Leviathan has over a 300 feet drop. And that's insane coming from a guy who's never been on a coaster before. So I was waiting in line for 45 minutes because the lines at amusement parks are just crazy. So we were waiting there, I felt my anxiety acting up. So what felt like months of waiting, we finally get to the top. And when we get to the top, you should have seen my face. I looked so scared. They actually take your picture while you're on it, and you can look back at it later. I looked at my face. It looked like somebody was shooting me in the foot. It was terrible. But anyways, we finally get to the top, and then the drop comes. I, did, I wasn't scared at all. I mean, I was having the time of my life. I was thinking about all the years when I could have been doing this and having this much fun. I realized that I was being absolutely ridiculous for having a scare of roller coasters because, you know, you can't really be scared of something until you try it. And, uh, I mean, that's just my story for you guys today. So I guess the message is that you should always try to face your fears because you never know. I mean, you might be able to actually enjoy it like I did in this case. I just assumed that I was going to hate roller coasters without actually going on a roller coaster. I know it sounds crazy, but I actually enjoy roller coasters now. Every chance I get, I'm going on a roller coaster. I just get such a rush from being so high in the air, and it's just funny how a person can change in an instant. Uh, but anyways, that's all I have for today. I really hope you guys did enjoy this commentary. If you did, feel free to drop a like, and be sure to check out myself and Volt Hardscope. Our links will be down in the description below. 
Remember that we are still looking for pub stompers and commentators, so if you think you have what it takes to join Volt, if you think you have good commentaries, good gameplays, then hit us up on Twitter, just find us, whatever you can do, uh, and we'll be sure to get back to you. But anyways, like I said, that's all the time that I have for today. I really hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll talk to you guys later. I'm out. Peace.